All right, YouTube, girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen. Had to straighten up my uh, whisk broom. Uh, the solar panel has been ordered. Oh, solar panel? I thought you were getting little ones. Well, as usual, I changed my mind. Uh, two little solar panels, 50 watts. That's what I was going to do. No, I'm going to do one 100 watt solar panel. Why? Too many moving parts. I got too many things moving around. Uh, fewer moving parts means less likelihood of error, problems, etc. The downside is if this one solar panel goes haywire, I'm screwed. But, uh, you know, such is life. I'm going to roll the dice. Uh, so, as is my usual uh, pattern, I uh, am at Home Depot. So, let's go inside and get some cardboard. Okay, we're in Home Depot. We need to score a piece of cardboard. Let's see what we got here. This is looking pretty good. This could be it right here. Okay, so let's see. We're down here. Good. Yeah. Uh, yep, plenty of room there. And we need 21 inches this way. Well, obviously, we've got 21 inches that way. So, we got our piece of cardboard to make our mock up of the solar panel. Perfect. Out of the recycle bin. So, now that we've got the cardboard, uh, I took it home. I uh, cut it out into the dimensions of the solar panel. So I have a piece of cardboard the same size as the solar panel. So I can mock up uh, where I'm going to hang it, where I'm going to store it, etc. and so forth. So let's take a look at what I'm going to do with it. So here we are on the side of the van. I'll get the cardboard. All right, so uh, if the sun's shining on this side of the van, I'm gonna hang the uh, solar panel right here. And of course it will be held down with uh, some magnets here, here, probably in the middle, and uh, hooks up on top. Make sense? Then the cable will either, well, it'll probably be on this side here, and the cable will go right up here, one, and the other cable right up here, two, and the uh, extension cable from where things connect at the back of the van will come around the rain gutter and connect the cables. So now I've got a solar panel uh, in that afternoon western sun, okay? So here we're at the back of the van and the panel Again, hang up here on on a uh, on a hook, and uh, there's a lot of sun. I can put two uh, two poles, suction cup or otherwise, uh, to hold the panel up vertically, so I don't have to worry about getting it on the getting on the roof to get it up. 
You can also do that on the sides if that makes more sense. I can put it over the windows on the side to have a little bit of a shade over the window. Same thing back here. If the sun's high in the sky, I can get a little shade over this window. All right, so here we are in the back of the van. Uh, now, a 100 watt solar panel is 41 and a half inches long, 21 and a half inches wide. We're just using those for round figures. That's that's actually larger than the than the uh, solar panel. Um, that's why I'm not cutting or doing anything until I actually get the solar panel to make the uh, make the necessary attachments so that I have them all in the right place. But essentially, the solar panel will store like this. It weighs five pounds. I got magnets that will hold uh, nine pounds each. So I figure one, two, three, four, five, six magnets, and this thing will hold itself up nicely. Um, the other thing is, those magnets will be um, the ones used on the outside to keep it against the vehicle. Uh, back here in the in the back along here I'm thinking I'm probably going to use hooks um, because I'm using hooks outside at the top uh, I'll probably use hooks back here uh, this would be the solar part of the solar panel uh, that will be uh, we'll just we'll just imagine that this is the end that has the terminal block with the two wires coming out of it. Um, this is set down from this floor back here. So there's room. Uh, I've got a bee crawling on me, don't I? And back. So I'll probably use hooks back here to hold it up. And magnets up front hook, magnet, and away we go. Now, the uh, the solar part of the solar panel will be out it will be here. Uh, so that means when it's up here, it's essentially in the dark. It's not going to be generating any power. Uh, if I wanted to unhook it and get some solar through the window. I suppose I could do that. Uh, at any rate, that will be where the solar panel resides when not in use. Now let's take uh, let's take a look at the uh, the wiring. How that's going to work? Okay. All right. So the the wires from the outside are going to come through the vent and be threaded uh, in through this cabinet here. There's another cabinet right over here. And the wire will uh, come out of top of this cabinet here uh, in the corner and down to the charge controller. Then the wire for the battery will go from the charge controller back against the wall and the battery is almost directly underneath it. It's about maybe three feet away. So my wiring, my runs are pretty short and uh, I'll use an extension when I need to use an extension to go around that side or the other side of the van or up on the roof or wherever I need to put it. If it's in the back, um, I can just plug it directly in. That's it. So that is the tentative plan. I hope that all made sense. It'll be more demonstrative when I actually have the parts.
and you know can start assembling things and putting them up where they go. Uh, to me, that gives me the greatest flexibility, the most ease, the fewest number of working uh, moving parts, and uh, provides me with a uh, hundred watts of uh, solar power that I need to augment the charging system to keep the battery charged for the refrigerator. So, I don't know. We'll have to kind of see how it works out. I hope it works out better than the uh, swamp cooler I tried to make. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to be okay. So stay tuned. The panels are supposed to show up Tuesday. Uh, I think the regular the uh, charge controllers supposed to show up Tuesday as well and I also got uh, a set of thermometers uh, as per one of the viewers who suggested I get uh, digital wireless thermometers I picked up uh, a little package of that stuff so we'll get to see those in action too uh, if this video was helpful I share it with somebody. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and always comment as you see fit. Uh, till we get those solar panels and get cracking on putting stuff together here, we'll see you later. So long.